Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Popular Fiction Legacy Challenge. And what's happening? Are you just, are you going to do extra credit work? Okay, fine. Corin, we have to get some skills up. I've extended the house. I've given him a woodworking area because I realise he needs to get his handiness skill up and I th think this brings up his handiness skill. I mean, we'll check when, when I tell him to do something. But, um, because logic he has to bring up, uh, charisma, and logic and charisma, he's quite high in them. For handiness, he's only at level one. So, um, so yeah, we need to get him to do that. And he has to find the space prints stuff. And space prints, we haven't done anything. Haven't done anything with that yet. Well, we've got four, I think. Now that I think about it. Yeah, we've got four. Which isn't too bad. And also, if we want to grow him up to be an adult, we need to, um... We need to do these things. Liberty, you're an adult, aren't you? Yeah, uh, that's what I want. I think when we age him up to an adult, we'll age Liberty up to an elder and age Ashley up to a teen. Okay, right. So, Corin, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, let's see what you're working on. It is handiness. Okay, you've just gone up to level two, which is good. So finish that sculpture and we have to... Oh, we've got to work on your aspiration. Evie was here, but she's left. We need to bring her back over. We need to bring her back over because we need to work on the boyfriend or girlfriend. Uh, what's this? You're just upset because you're having a mood swing? Oh. Unruly classmates. Two days! Good grief. Okay. Well, let's fast forward you. Have you done? It's in his inventory. Is it good? Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, put it on the ground. I wanted to put it up here. There you go. It's not bad. Uh, oh, there's Evie. Uh, give props. You've already done your extra credit homework. And we've got to work... Oh, I can't see them now. We need to work on their extra credit... Not extra credit. I've got extra credit on the brain now. We need to work on their relationship. I guess that was good. Okay. Um, Can we ask her on a date? No, he's too... Uh... Um... Hmm. Is he too sad to ask her on a date? Can we call the sadness hotline? Because we need to get him out of this mood. Ashley, why are you complaining? Is the toilet not working there? Yes, it's working. It's fine. All right, Corin, you and Evie, Brighton Day. Oh, she was doing well. Because they're good friends, we just need the whole romance thing. But at the moment, he's too sad to actually romance her. Oh, dear. Give romantic gift. Snowdrops. Uh, these trees are in the way. No, she didn't like that. Really? Uh, 
Well, maybe she's not the one. I mean, she likes to help out and stuff, but she might not be. Alright, she gave him a gift, and he likes it. So maybe Evie gave Corin a gift with a sweet message attached. I love the joy that you bring to my life every waking moment of every day. Oh, that's sweet. That's very sweet. Okay, maybe it's maybe they're not so bad after all. And he's going off to do extra credit homework. Yeah. Okay. Now he's yes, he is going to do extra credit homework. They really need to, I really need to put a bin in this house. I keep forgetting to put the bin in the house. I forget everything else. I put in everything else and forget the bin. Okay. Right, so I think then tomorrow after school we're gonna um we're gonna have to go on a date with Corin. I don't know whether to try and go on a date with Evie. I'm going to go cry it out. I don't know whether to try and go on a date with Evie or if to go on a date with somebody else because he needs two dates and he needs a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So maybe he should take his time and I think we should go on two different dates. Not with Evie. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So Corin, you've gone to cry out. Bye, Evie. Then you are going to go to bed. Your sister should be in bed. Uh, she's also sad from school. Uh, turn on. And you need to cry out and then go to sleep. Because you're sad for what? For five days? What is. I, I think this is from the slice of life. They get bullied. They just get really... I've noticed it a lot with the kids. Not so much adults or teens. But kids get really mean messages. And they get they get a lot. And then they're just sad all the time. I don't get it. But I can't work out where in the slice of life to turn it off. Alright, what are you... I thought you were going to bed. Go get something to eat. Um, get leftovers, and then you can go to bed, because there's not much else that's going to happen. He's going to go to bed, he's going to sleep, and then he's going to go to school. So, I think we are going to come back after school tomorrow, which is, well, today, which is Thursday, and we will take him on a blind date. So, I will see you guys in a bit. So it's after school. I have sent um, Corin on. Oh, he's on a blind date with baby Ariel. Okay. And she's walked off. All right. He's got to go on two dates. They don't have to be successful. We just need to go on two. All right. She's walked off, which is not a good sign. And she's also a celebrity, which is also not a good sign. Okay, what are they doing? Oh, she's just chatting. She sounds so bored. Is she a proper celebrity? She's a proper celebrity. This is going to be hard. And... Friendly. Alright. That's one thing. Oh, okay. And... Sit together. Okay, he's got bronze already. I've had dates where worse has happened. Wait a minute, Thorn Bailey's here too? Um, what are we doing? Are you gone outside to Thorn Bailey? Please don't tell me that you have. Oh god, sit there together. 
We don't care about Thorn Bailey. Thorn always has pretty babies in my in my saves. But other than that, not that interested. Um Attempt introduction. Is it gonna work? More choices, friendly. Oh good grief. This is not really gonna work. Although we've got silver. Should we cut our losses and try going on another date? Oh, they're chatting. Uh, I should just put the walls down. There you go. They don't really seem to want to talk to each other. He wants to come out and see Thorn. No, who's that? Uh, Brent. Okay. They're not that interested. I think we're going to cut our losses because he's got silver. Yes. Alright. Let's try another date. Because it's not much point seeing this out to the bitter end. She's not interested. Uh, Sim the dating app. Has she gone? She probably has. And we want a female blind date. And I don't know who she is. Not going back to that bar. Where? Aaron Hedgehog. Okay, who are we on a date with? Uh, Christy Sigworth. Okay. Ah, uh, friendly introduction. And somehow we've already managed to get bronze. Okay. Um, no, no mischief. Uh, socialize. Well, actually, no, I should just let it. Just let it go. Right, so they're, they're doing good. Oh, uh, he asked her for a pill. And she took it. Okay. Brighton day. But they're hitting it off well. And the pill just has him dazed. It's going to last for two days. Really, Corin? Why on earth would you ask her for a pill? Okay, we've got more celebrities. Who have we got this time? Uh, is that Brittany Cho? Oh yeah, it's Brittany Cho, but she's somebody else. No, don't go and do your homework. And sit and talk. Sit together. Still talking? Yeah, he's still chatting. Okay, one of the things is to ask if she's single. So, uh... I do have... Ask if single. Where is it? Why is this cap so dark? Is there no lights in it? He has a great reputation. Okay. Uh, romantic introductions. Okay. Uh, flirt with your date. Okay. Uh, let's see. Who's she? Uh, Quinn Cho. Why are you... Flirt. Uh, exchange numbers. And give a romantic gift. Rose. Those are flirting, right? 
Although she's extremely dressed up for a date. that not count as flirting? And now we've got Judith Worth as well. I know, although she's married to, I'm guessing, Wolfgang Munch in this save. Alright, go and... Where's the toilets in this place? Are they upstairs? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, we've got sil we're getting silver. Go use the toilet and then you can come back and oh she needs to use it as well. But if she goes upstairs and uses it. Alright, um romance. Give romantic gift. No, really? Express admiration? No. Yes. Okay. Why is she wet? Is that outside? No. Um, discuss interests. Discuss interests. Where is discuss interests? Okay. Oh, they got gold. All right. Cool. This is good. Uh, let's take you off. And she is single. That thing really isn't working though. Um. Uh, pathetic pickup line. All right, let her. Use, well, you let her use the toilet. I mean, we've got gold, which is good. So you can do your homework. And then, um, okay, done that. We'll go home then. Okay, so what's wrong with you now? Oh, go get something to eat. Go and get something to eat, Mister Man. You're gonna go ask him for advice, okay? No, you're not gonna ask him for advice. Liberty, you. Hmm. Um, get leftovers. And Missy, you shouldn't be awake. Although you're fine. Let's see what your brother's up to. Oh, he's tired. Okay, let's get you in your bath and bed. All right, well, Chris, Chris, baby Ariel was a bust. Christy, he's a friend. Evie, Evie's unflirty. I don't know if it's worth. <sighs> um, don't know. I don't know yet if it's worth going after Evie because she's going to be hard work. All right, Missy, why you why you no sleep? Oh, you're just where are you? Are oh, you watching tube? I oh, will talk to your dad then. I oh, know she's just gonna pass out, and it's love day. Woohoo! Okay, so. Ah, uh, Harrison. Oh, you ignore everything. Even your little sister gives flowers. Well, you can always give flowers to your dad. Wherever he is. Oh, he's upstairs. Uh, right, Liberty, go harvest your plants. They'll all... And you're sleeping. 
got school soon anyway. I find that quite funny. She wants to give flowers on love day, but her brother doesn't. Alright, I think when she goes to school, I'll have her making friends. That's school. Uh, make friends. Okay. Go on. And you can also make friends. Uh, send alone. Okay, um, all right, you were supposed to invite, oh, there's Addison. All right, and Orin, Orange, no, he met Orange at school, but, um, okay, so Orange is a raise, rising star, maybe we should invite Christy over. All right, he's, um, okay. All right, let's invite her over. See how that goes. Oh, you're embarrassed. Where are you? And, no. Hide from everyone. That's not appearing on any of the beds. Okay, maybe he's not that embarrassed then. Right, give yourself a pep talk. And let's see if Christy came over. Not yet. Is she coming over? I didn't even see. Yes, it did say she will be. Because we need a girlfriend. I mean, we don't have to keep the girlfriend. Usually I tend to... Oh, she's in the house already. Oh, I missed that bit. Okay. Um, give Love Day gift. Rose. See if that works this time round. Oh, she likes that. Good, good. Yeah. I mean, you didn't need to because you ignore all of those. But, um, bright and day. And let's ask you to, uh, stargaze. Stargaze? Whatever it is. Uh, please don't ask for any more pills. Ask the cloud gaze. That's what you want. Is it just me, or is Liberty looking bigger? She's putting on weight. I don't know if it's because... Oh, I can't see. I don't know if it's because she's getting older. It could be one of the mods that I have in, but she's putting on weight. And she's also looking tired. Go to bed. Alright, let's go back to Corin. Right, well, you two. Why is she knocking on the door? She has a key. I'm not quite sure why Evie's knocking on the door. Um, are you Evie's friend? Do you even know her? Oh, you don't even know her. Okay. Well, she has a key. So if she doesn't want to come in, that is her business, I guess. Right, so the two of them. And invite to stay the night. We can't do that. He's embarrassed. Let's get rid of hide from everyone. Where have you gone to get a glass of water? Is there a mirror downstairs? 
Well, Christy, Christy's fixing the dollhouse. That's a good sign. Is there no mirror downstairs? Okay, and give yourself a pep talk. All right, that's coming down. Chat with someone on the phone. Three hours, really? Ah, <sighs> much as I like the slice of life, I think I might have to take it out because it's a bit extreme for what I'm doing. Because I mean, it's a slice of life that has the self woohoo thing, which all my Sims just seem to do all the time. Um, it has the period thing, which I had to take out because all my sims just seem to be preoccupied with having their period. Did Christy leave? Um, school is stupid. No. School teaches important things. Um, it has the whole bullying thing. That Ashley, at least she's, she's not sad now. But she keeps getting sad all the time because she keeps getting mean text messages. So, um, so yeah, I think I might just, just take it out. If there was a way to tone down the settings, it would be good. You've gone to sleep. Okay. I guess, uh, Addison left. It doesn't say that Christy left. All right, you need to come back down and chat to Christy. Um... You can give her residence key as well. Else fix, fix back. She still doesn't like his dad. That's not good. You have to take Harrison how he is. Um, and you're still embarrassed. Uh, chat. Call someone on the phone. Uh, would help if. Are we? Yeah, we're on the right person. Phone chat with oh we don't even have to chat with anybody okay well that works um okay she's gone invite in why do we have to invite her in she comes in all the time But yeah, I think I might have to take out the slice of life because, yeah, if there were settings, if you could tweak it so that things weren't as, as it, you could control how, oft, how often they happened, it would be good. But I can't tweak it. Okay, he's gone back up to sleep. There's no getting him not to sleep. Right, he's sleeping. Oh, who's this? Who are you, lady? Rachel Eaton. I have no idea who you are. Okay, what was the other one? We need a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And you're on flirt, unflirty, so... We need to be good friends with somebody before you get that boyfriend or girlfriend. And I don't know, Christy. I think with Evie, because Evie is also unflirty, it's going to be extra hard work. And if she's on, and she might not actually, because actually, Evie's romance bar is going down with him. It's not even staying where it is, it's going down. Why are we, why am I watching him anyway? It's going down. So. I don't think that, um, I don't think she's that interested. She's quite happy to have him as a friend, but I don't think she's interested in being his girlfriend. And Christy, where are we? Christy, they like me to went up quite, quite a lot. And they did have an awesome date. I don't know. Did he go on a date? He didn't go on a date. Her. 
But she is a key holder, but she doesn't like to use her key. Who's awake? Oh, it's Morrison. Do you not have any plasma packs? I bought you tons of plasma packs. You have loads. Though so that's what? Sunflower frog? Uh, there was a fish. I just saw a fish. Somewhere. Anywhere? There it is. Uh, step in and stand up for your friend. Alright, let's see if we can get Christy to be our girlfriend before we finish. Oh, Harrison's level 9 of the parenting skill. Awesome. Uh, right. Having a seasonal party. No, thank you. Um, Liberty, you need to tend your plants. Alright, Harrison, come and sell all. Water all, and then sell all. And you need to get up, my friend. Go get something to eat, and then... No, not repair, just get a new one. And then we are going to see if we can make Christy your girlfriend. Because we are going to do this before the end of today's episode. Yeah, you're bored, we know. I'm not being in a club. It's eight o'clock yet. Yes, it's eight. All right. Um... Right, Christy. Um. All right. Invite to hang out at current lot, and then we'll put her in a group, and then they can go someplace. Okay. Christy will be right over. She is. She's looking a bit sad. Um. Action. Form group. Is Christy. And then, or should we go on another date? Actually, no. Wrong thing. We should go on a date. You're reading vampire books. Where is she? Uh, more choices. Romance. Mess around in a bush. Can we do that? Or just mess around. Let's see what happens. Maybe we should put them in a club together. Eh, you don't really need to put them in a club. Because then you go invent fun things for them to do. No, inviting her over and having her... Oh, she's sad. Is she too sad to mess around? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. No, she's not too sad to mess around. Where are they? Oh, you know what? I suddenly thought the only place with a double bed is his parents' room, which is... Oh, oh, good grief. Okay. Let's see what effect that has on their relationship. I really need to make his room bigger so that he can have his own double bed. And then, yeah. All right, Harrison, you can Oh, he's dazed from what? Being ill. Okay, why are you sad now from being bullied? Okay. What are you doing? Uh 
and now he's I'm gonna take out the slice of life I can't I can't take this constantly being sad and the constant text messages I don't even know which bit needs to come out so I'm just gonna take them take it all out all the sadness hotline um don't go and cry it out Uh, no, wrong thing. Sadness hotline. Okay, right. But yeah, it's... we're not gonna... Oh, who's dead? Uh, did they all get bullying messages all at the same time? Good grief. No, I'm definite dead. This is just, this has just decided, decided it for me. I am going to take it out. I can't deal with the constant bullying and stuff. But, um, so yeah. Okay, she's still sleeping. How did that affect their relationship? I forgot to check. I think it's gone up a bit. She's a friend. She's good. All right, wake up. And do they have do do they have any more choices of stuff? Oh, good grief. Um, friendly. Don't ask for advice. Awkward hug. Conversation. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I wanted to make her our girlfriend, but I think we're gonna cons we're gonna work on this next week because I can't really do anything that slice of life put in. And um, it's about time for me to stop recording anyway. So yeah, what mess? There's no mess. So yes, so I think this is where we're going to leave it for this week. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.